yourself a cup of coffee or tea and let's get into my knitting progresses. Hello ladies and I am joining you today again for another weekly vlog. Um, today is Monday the 10th of May and I'm having my cup of coffee and saying hi to all of you. Um, I think Mondays aren't good without a cup of coffee, wouldn't you agree with me? So uh, I will be sharing a little bit of what I've got up to during my weekend as it was quite productive. And um, also, as mentioned in my previous vlog, um, I am taking a part in pattern testing. I got it right this time. <laughs> this is the one that I will be working on. I will be inserting a better quality picture here. Um, so you can all see it. But uh, this is my main project for this week. Because the pattern testing uh, has to end next Monday. And I will be knitting it out of Gazelle Extra Large Baby Cotton. Um, my one will be in this nice violet color. Um, I really wanted one in green. However, as earlier said, um, Gazelle are really hard to get in UK. And this is the only one that I've actually got in Baby Cotton XL. And the pattern actually calls for it. So, because I'm testing the pattern, I want to use exactly the same yarn. Uh, this one is... 50% acrylic and 50% cotton and the color is 3420 I believe 3420XL so I will be sharing with all of you how my pattern testing goes and I will also be showing you uh, what I got up to during the weekend I worked a little bit on the cross stitch and I've also managed to finish a sleeve, so I'm very happy that I actually managed to get it as um, that was the main goal, to have one sleeve at least finished before I start um, test, uh, pattern testing um, Ms. Gimon Moza's pattern. Uh, we'll see how the bubbles go, I'm, I'm a bit worried about actually knitting them. But um, I will be currently now packing my project bag. So. The supplies are really easy. I will need the yarn, my knitting needles and the crochet hook. So everything goes into my project bag and I will be ready to Tuning in back to actually show you the progress that I have done on my Vervaco kit. That's the wedding sampler that I am stitching for uh, to to show to showcast our mine and my husband's wedding. And this is how much I've done so far, and it actually looks really good on the picture. You can actually see it very well. Um, yeah, so we've got the hand and. Uh, um, I don't know what it is with me, maybe it's my OCD, but I hate moving the hoop. So <laughs> I've actually discovered that now what I actually do is I stitch all around it as much as I can fit in and then afterwards I go sort of on the sides and I stitch the rest or I switch for a bigger hoop. Um, I'm actually quite happy with the size of this one, which is number two. Um, um, it doesn't say what's the um, what's the actual diameter of it, but it says Nerch number two. That's my most favorite size of um, hoop. It's quite small and uh, it's very comfortable for me to to keep. But yeah, this is how much is turning on. This one it won't have any back stitch, so from a distance, it's it's actually quite nice. I don't know, we'll see. If I don't like it, I'll just buy another one and stitch it as well. Or have to. <laughs> and um, have my most favorite in the position that everyone can see. And the other one, a little hidden away. But yeah, so I had a bit of progress over the weekend with this one as well. So I've got some progress made. 
the bubbles aren't really as hard as I thought. It's a really, really lovely yarn, actually. I'm very happy with it. Um, but yeah, that's what I will be working on probably for the whole week. Now, um, I'm coming to show you my sister's cardigan. So, my sister's cardigan. We've made some progress. I'm very happy that I've actually done something that I promised myself that I will do which was to uh, finish the sleeve and one of the sleeve is finished so now I'm gonna just finish another one and we will have the cardigan complete now for some reason this one the cuff actually turned out to be much tighter um, it's not uncomfortable but it's much tighter than my one and I can't figure out why but I think it, it will stretch um, as you wear it as well but we are slowly slowly coming to the end of my sisters with more cardigan era <laughs> the state of Ramsey on a Monday morning if anyone have missed him He's still here, still sleeping. <laughs> good morning, good morning. It's the second day, Tuesday, and I'm starting my today's vlog. But first, coffee. Someone is very energetic today. Say hello. He's a clean boy. He had his shower yesterday. Wasn't very happy. So, today is Tuesday. And for me, it's a Monday. I don't know why, but I feel like it's a proper Monday. And it was so hard for me to wake up today. So I'm going to work in tracksuit because I'm not feeling my best today and uh, I just want something comfortable to be in and I need my coffee which I've got here from my beautiful mug. I was actually sent uh, one of my... Um, teachers for nails um, I have not told people on here that but I usually used to work with nails and I have completed a few courses back in the day and I used to work with clients um, COVID killed all of that um, so I don't work with nails anymore I only do nails for my very close family and of course I do my own ones um, I will vlog maybe one day when I do my nails if anyone is interested um, So this room was originally my work room for nails but um, As COVID hit I've just turned everything back into my craft room and I work here as well um, in my full-time job but yeah, I just lost the plot of the story that I was actually telling. Oh yeah, so the trainer, <laughs> lovely Vanessa, um, she actually sent me a, a link to um, AliExpress and they had such beautiful mugs. Um, I will maybe insert the picture or leave the link um, down below. But if anyone is actually looking for any knitting related mugs, they were actually really, really cute. Maybe the change of the background will be more interested to watch as I've noticed my most favorite part in filming is actually here in this room where I'm usually spending all of my days. My room is so crowded, I need to do something. I still haven't decided what. I still got my wedding dress that's hanging there and um, the dress that I had to wear for my 
brother-in-law's wedding um, which also got changed <laughs> because of covid so i don't because this is the house that we rent um we don't really have much space um and i can't really organize it the way i would want to so my dress is just living here maybe one day when i move into my own house um i'll have a big big dressing room where i could just buy a mannequin and just put the dress there for me to watch and enjoy because i really like my dress um, and I feel it a bit sad that it's just there hanging in the bag. Okay, enough of rambling. Sip of coffee. And let me show you the trouble that I had yesterday. So, this is how far I've got. Now, yesterday I spent two hours fixing the mistakes that I've done. And now I've got it right, so this is now a proper line that is going across. If you paid attention in the previous time I showed it, there wasn't a, a line going here because I was just doing slip slip knit and then pass the two over. And in this case, um, I believe you have to slip the two knit wise, but two straight away and then knit one and then pass it over so you have then the central eye running beautifully but the trouble is done i've got it i've still got one and a half pattern repeats there are so many bubbles there so so many bubbles but it's such a beautiful pattern that i'm thinking if the top ran up to here with these bubbles it would be so nice, but then I thought, oh my god, how many more bubbles I would actually have to knit. So then I thought, just a simple stock in it will do as well. <laughs> but maybe one day if I'm crazy enough, I might actually turn this pattern into a, a bit of a different version. I'll see. So yeah, the plan of today is to work and work and work and then do some knitting i've got a dentist appointment tomorrow in windsor so i might take you alongside so maybe some of you are interested to see windsor and or the windsor castle um, and my mom lives there so i'll be spending day uh, with my mom so if she's actually um she's brave enough maybe she will appear in my vlog <laughs> um but yeah we will see so other than that, there's nothing else than knitting going on today. Um, maybe I'll show you some Ramsey. If Ramsey's, you know, if he wants to be shown. Are you coming? And here he is. Yeah, of course. Now we will only see you. So, it's the third day of vlogging. And as I said, I do have my dentist appointment today. So I am just on my way to my mom's. I'm gonna park my car and uh, get there, get ready for work. And then um, I'll run to my dentist appointment. I'm so not used to driving lately. So I'm a bit nervous all the time I have to drive, but we'll see how I go. And uh, I'll catch you in Windsor. And I am off to my dentist appointment such a beautiful day today we've got the river and the swans the castle is just somewhere over there but yeah it's a beautiful day in Windsor today Look what I've got here. Chi Chi say hi. I'm working over at my mom's today and she has a little Pomeranian. Chi Chi. Chi Chi, you want to be famous? No, she doesn't. Hi. So, I'm... Um, Actually, today working for my mom's, 
um, I'm going to be going home uh, during the lunchtime to miss all the traffic that usually forms around 3 o'clock in the school time but um, as I'm currently on the break I do have some time and I can show you the little progress that I have made uh, with the top so I'm almost done with the part one so the pattern is all finished and I was just knitting in a plain stockinette stitch so it is going pretty fast and I'm just trying to figure out how long I want the top to be so this is all that the pattern says that I should do for a size small that I'm knitting however it I don't know I don't want it to be cropped and I don't like the tops showing the, um, the belt or the closure for the trousers I don't think it looks in, uh, very flattering so um, yeah I'll definitely be knitting a few more rows um, I have not yet decided how long they will be but uh, we will see so that's the stage of knitting I've got everything in my project bag so I when I come to my mom's I always have loads of bags with me <laughs> so um, there should be a clip somewhere of my mom's dog um, Chi it's her name she's a Pomeranian a really really cute little cuddly dog um, my mom actually loves to paint and uh, she she does a lot of painting and she creates Instagram as well there uh, but yeah um, I think we will just have a quick lunch with my mom and then I will be going home to Ramsey um, I've also got to do some laundry and cook a dinner um, so it's not <laughs> not very exciting but um, yeah, I couldn't show you much of Windsor today. I was actually very, very quick to my dentist. So spend, it was a very quick 20 minute appointment. Uh, they had to take the whitening out of my tooth and put the temporary filling in. So um, I am um, towards the end of my tooth three uh, repair, <laughs> fixing. Um, I do have to go back at the end of the month to pick my whitening trays and to put in the fillings at the back and then I'll have to whiten it to the state where I want my teeth to be in because um, I am doing a bit of composite bonding on the front teeth so the color needs to be the one that I would like the permanent filling on the top to be so we'll see how that goes uh, my teeth are quite sensitive Especially the bottom ones, so I'm quite curious to know how the whitening will go. Probably it's not even interesting for all of you, but <laughs> um, I had some questions on Instagram. A few people asked me um, because I can mention a few times that I'm either in pain or I'm going to to the dentist. It is turning into a bit of a weekly thing for me. I've got a few weeks of a gap now. But um, yeah, a few people were asking uh, because they were interested to know what I'm doing and uh, some message that they are doing the same thing. So we had a chat. Um, I really wanted to do it for a long time. So I was quite interesting to know other people's opinion or their, how their treatment went. Um, um, I'm very happy uh, with the results that I can see already and I'm sure that my teeth will look really really nice when the, um, the whole treatment is done but it's enough of chatting my break is over and I've got to get back to work my mom actually lives in a really really nice flat and uh, you can see uh, the Queen's probably house she calls it but <laughs> the Queen's Castle, the Windsor Castle and it's overlooking the river and I really really like always coming to my mom and actually sitting in this position to have uh, the morning coffee her partner is really interested in crystals as well so I'm always curious to see all of the different uh, stones um, that they have but as I said yesterday that I'll show you the castle 
I thought I might as well just show it to you. And so we're back in the same room where I've started filming the vlog. Um, I think I will be wrapping this one up here because I don't want the vlogs to be too long. So I tend to film for three days and then upload it. Um, if you do like the longer vlogs, then let me know. I can film them for the whole week instead of just three days. But for now, I think three days are just the right uh, period of length for the video. And uh, I will carry on knitting, carry on making beautiful stuff and um, keep sharing that with you. Um, I will start filming new vlogs soon. I want to dye some yarn, so I'll probably insert that in the vlogs as well. But for... For now, thank you very much for spending the three days with me and I want to wish you a happy crafting and um, hopefully the weather improves soon and we can spend some time outside. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and come to the Instagram Lady with a Knit and um, check my, check my uh, stories and uh, posts there as I do um, as I said uh, film a lot of stories and share my crafty bits there as well thank you bye